Hey, you guys, I'm sorry about the connection on the last video. It just seems like any time that I'm trying to talk about something important, this connection is acting stupid. So in this video, I'm going to be more calm. <laughs> um, and I wanted to show you guys what her sister said happened. You know, again, she didn't know him. They didn't know him. Um, they were just trying to get off of this train to transfer. And again, I told you guys in the last video, the transfer is basically like when they're trying to go from wherever they're coming from to like the next city's train. And that train will take them to their final destination sometimes. It depends on if that is their final destination, but pretty much they were crossing. But before they crossed, they let somebody go before them. And that's when he went on the attack. So let me show you guys... Um, what it is that her sister said and first of all you guys gotta let me know if you can hear me and if this is good or clear connection you know because last time I was a little bit choppy let me check and see hold on is this better this thing is acting crazy Hold on, let me get it, let me get it. Let me pull it up. Okay. So this should be a bit better here. Oops. Okay. So this should be a bit better. Let me know if the connection is good. Okay, so I knew this is what I mentioned in the first video that I did. Okay, something told me that they probably were not paying attention. And by paying attention, I mean like either on their phones, listening to music, etc. No, I didn't block you, beautiful black. So I didn't block you at all. Uh, I promise you, I didn't. Something was telling me that they were distracted, which is why they didn't see him coming in black women. I, I really need y'all to, to really start being careful. Even if you're with friends, please do not be having your head down in a phone listening to music. Like not only are you distracted having your head down in the phone, so you're visually distracted. And then with your auditory skills, you're distracted. You can't hear anything. You can't hear or see what's coming up on you. And on top of that, you need to start protecting yourself, start carrying mace. Um, something that my mom did for me was in my car, she put like this bag that had like salt and pepper because my grandpa was a captain in a sheriff's department. And she said, if you get that and you put like the salt and pepper in a bag, it's kind of like mace. So if you don't, if you don't have the money to spend $10 for some mace or pepper spray or whatever, you can use salt and pepper and throw it in their face. And it's like as good as like pepper spray. So that, uh, I know a billy club is probably illegal. Some sort of knives are probably illegal, but you guys need to stop just walking out willy nilly head in your phone, listening to music, totally distracted from the world because somebody like this could easily walk up on you. And just to get blindsided by many. For what? I don't know why. We was letting the BART passenger and her child come out from the train so we can enter. By the time my little sister, my other little sister, she was on train. So we let the woman back up with her, her stroller. You know, oh, she well, I keep up doing that. as we walking on, then he started attacking. And I looked back and he was wiping off this knife and stood up the stairs and just looked. So after he stabbed them, he goes to wipe off the knife, looked at them, and then takes off. And I guarantee if they find him alive, 
they're probably going to be like, he's, he's going to have to be found, you know, and criminally insane. And we're going to have to commit him to a hospital for the rest of his life, a mental institution. No, he needs to be killed. Like, forget all this, letting him go, trying to be rational with him. No. Um, my favorite person in the world says, stay focused, sister. You have trolls and probably agents on here to throw you off your game on purpose. Voice at work. Yes, he surely is. That's all what it is. They, they want to see me act a fool. That, that's it. That's it. And then he said, um, he said, sound like he was stalking them. She said when they went to transfer at MacArthur, he attacked them. Yeah, I agree. It does. Let, let's back up again because it does sound like he was watching them because for him to just have randomly, he, mind you, he probably wasn't even just stalking them that day. He could have been watching them for a period of time. And I know she says she and her sister didn't usually take it, but he probably was watching them from the point that they even got to the bar to when they got to each stop. That's what it sounds like to me. For what? I don't know why. We was letting the BART passenger and her child come out from the train so we can enter. By the time my little sister, my other little sister, she was on train. So we let the woman back up with her, her stroller. You know, she backed up as we walking on. Then he started twat attacking. And I looked back. And he was wiping off his knife and stood at the stairs and just looked. And then I start from there on, I was caring for my sister. I was in shock because I was hurting from the side. So I didn't know I was cut, but I was because I was paying more attention to my little sister. But he just stood there like it was nothing. And he just ran. He fled the scene. She just yelled my name. Tifa, Tifa, Tifa. And I said, I got you, baby. I got you. Just calm down because she has real bad anxiety. And what did you say to her in those final moments? I love her. And we're going to get through this. I got you. You're my baby sister. Remember her for her. Not what you hear. You know, that was my little sister. Loving, caring, help any and everybody. You know, but I just wish that it'd be more helpful if we get more security or make the BART more safer because we don't ride BART like that. She hate BART. She will not sit on bar. She will just stand there. She will not catch bar only if we really have to go somewhere. And that's myself too. You know, as young black women, we shouldn't have to look behind our back 24-7. You know, we should be living freely like everybody else. Why everybody else gets to live freely and we got to look behind our back every 24-7 because of fear of like this, you know? He didn't know us, we didn't know him, was no altercation, but he just felt upon himself to take his anger or whatever the case may be uh, on innocent women. I just <sighs> I want justice for my sister. Now, the part that got me was somebody said they found him. I really hope you're not trolling because somebody else said that they found him and they and they didn't find him. So uh, yeah. But anyways, um, one part that got me was when she was talking about um, there needs to be like more security, right? And then somebody was like, "Well, that would take people all day, and people got stuff to do." That may be true, but the thing is, like when you go to airports, right? At airports. People got places to go, you know, people go through airports every day and they still got time to check you. Now, the thing is, yes, you may have to start getting to the BART station earlier, like you do an airport. Like, for example, when I have a flight or something, I don't just get to my flight 30 minutes before. No, I get to my the airport. I get there like an hour and a half before just so that I can go through security and get it over with. This is probably what they need to start doing to y'all. And unfortunately, you know. Yes, yes, it might take some time. And yes, it might be like, you know, you having to get up early and you're not going to feel like it. But 
to make this bull crap stop, that seems like the only option. And, you know, this happens, unfortunately, they've said this is like the third killing that has happened at BART. So that's telling me that they're having a major security issue with people just not trying to go and go to their destination or whatever. People are looking to kill. And it wouldn't shock me if this guy wasn't behind all those other killings, because how do you have three BART killings in less than a week? They all it has to be connected in some way. Like, come on. This is ridiculous. That instead of gangs, we need to form militias. So heart wrenching these senseless crimes is an attack on us all. Yes, you know, it's it's sad. I think they've already caught the guy. Let me see because I keep seeing you guys are saying this, and if you guys are speaking this and it's not true, I'm just not gonna be happy. Let me see if he's been caught. Because it's just really it's really funny to me how you know they could keep talking about uh, you know, giving all his descriptions and stuff, but they're not speaking on like his, why did I spell bar like that? They're not speaking on his location or what city he's from or anything. Okay, let me tell you something about bar police. The bar police so what do you mean? Not only that person do you have to let out cats and they're still you. You're about police. So I have to ask you the like, come on. If you know the bar is so trans station, like come on. If you know the bar is transferring from Pittsburgh, trying to transfer to my birth, she was coming from that she mentioned because there were on his criminal. He has uh, infractions in criminal cases from Fremont. So I don't know if he's a local in Fremont or what, but you could be onto something there. I'm chopping up bad. Is it good now? Mickey D's Wi-Fi. Uh-oh. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get off here. I don't know why my Wi-Fi is acting crazy, but um, I just wanted you guys to see her video so that you guys can know, no, she did not. She didn't know him. She didn't know him at all. So I'm going to look it up and see if he's been caught. And I want you guys to send me links to send me proof because I don't have Twitter or nothing. So I don't know. But anyways, guys, um, please keep me updated and you all need to be safe. Talk to you later.